Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this simple boxy tee. This top is made out of four rectangles and uses two basic stitches, double crochets and back loop slip stitches. I'll be making this top in a size small. You can find the free ribbon pattern from sizes extra small to five extra large on my blog. The link is down below in the description bar. You will need DK cotton yarn, a 4.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle and some scissors. We're going to start with the body panel and the front and back of this top are exactly the same. So to begin, create a slip knot and insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 78. Once you have 78 chains, we're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. To double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Double crochet in each remaining chain until the end of the row. At the end of row 1, you should have 76 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, we're going to chain 2. Throughout this pattern, the turning chains of chain 1 and chain 2 don't count as a stitch. Double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. You should have 76 stitches in total. Turn your work. And then you're just going to repeat row 2 until the end of row 39. You can add or remove rows to make your top longer or shorter. Just take into account that the ribbing will add about 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch of length to your top. And this is what the body panel will look like after 39 rows of double crochet. We're now going to start on the body ribbing. We're going to be working into the back loops of every stitch. So normally when you insert your crochet hook into the stitch, you pick up two strands of yarn. When working into the back loop, you only pick up the strand of yarn furthest away from you. We'll start row one of the ribbing by chaining one. So we're going to back loop slip stitch in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. To back loop slip stitch, insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull through. When you're at the end of the row, place a normal slip stitch in the last stitch of the row. So make sure you pick up both strands of yarn. You should have 76 stitches in total. Turn your work. And you're just going to repeat row 1 until the end of row 7. So for row 2 of the ribbing, chain 1, back loop slip stitch in each stitch across, and then slip stitch in the last stitch of the row, and turn your work. To make it easier to work into the back loop, rotate your work so that the tops of the stitches are facing you. After crocheting 7 ribbing rows, this is what your top should look like. Fasten off. Repeat the steps for a second body panel. We're now going to crochet the sleeves. They have the exact same construction as the body panels, they're just smaller. Create a slip knot and insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 60. To start row 1, double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Double crochet in each stitch across. Chain 
You'll have 58 stitches in total. Turn your work. To start row 2, chain 2, double crochet in each stitch across, At the end of the row you should have 58 stitches. Turn your work. Repeat row 2 until the end of row 7. At the end of row 7 we're now going to crochet the ribbing. And it's the exact same ribbing as the body panel. So we're going to chain 1, back loop slip stitch in each stitch until the last stitch of the row. and then slip stitch in the last stitch of the row. You'll have 58 stitches in total. Turn your work. And you'll repeat row 1 until the end of row 7. And this is what your finished sleeve will look like. Fasten off. Fold your sleeve in half lengthways, and then whip stitch down the sides of your sleeve. Repeat these steps for your second sleeve. Now we're going to assemble the top. Place the body panels on top of each other, and now we're going to sew the tops of the shoulder ribbing together. I've measured in about 12 centimeters or 5 inches from the edge of the top. I've used a stitch marker to mark my place, but if you don't have a stitch marker, you can always use a safety pin or a bobby pin. Whip stitch the tops of the shoulder seams together until you reach the stitch marker. Once you've sewn the shoulder ribbing together, repeat for the other side. Once you've sewn the shoulders together, the gap in the middle forms the neckline. Line up your sleeve with the top of the shoulder seam, and use a stitch marker to mark the bottom of the sleeve. Rotate your body panels, and we're going to whip stitch the sides of the top together. Once you've sewn the sides of the top together, sew the sleeve to the body. Repeat these steps for the second side. Weave in all of your ends, and you've finished your crochet tee.